Okay, it's it's a great day to go for a run wherever you may be. Today I'm out on my 10 mile long run. From now on, I think the uh, my long runs will be in the double digits for next few weeks anyway, until I might taper down before the marathon, I'm not sure. Before the marathon in my marathon training plan, because I am doing the marathon training plan. I'm just running a half marathon as part of the training plan. Half marathon is in three weeks, I think. My birthday is in two weeks. Half marathon is the weekend after my birthday. But today I want to talk about being safe while running and the things that I do to help keep me safe. You know, with all the, uh, all the news about the runner and, and Iowa that, uh, that was uh, murdered, you know, it just makes you think when you're out running, you want to go do stuff that you love to do and you got people that you have to be conscious of that there's, there's bad people out everywhere. And uh, I also want to men I just wanted to mention that there was a girl that I follow on Instagram. I'm not saying her name. She's from my area, but she uh, she was running on the trail, one of the trails that um, I've run a a, uh, a half marathon on, and or that I've trained on. But she was running on trails. She was running on a trail that she normally runs on and somebody jumped out of the woods at her. She she was he he jumped out in front of her and she was able to stop and turn around. She took off running back in the opposite direction. And he was yelling to her that he was sorry that he just wanted to use her phone. He didn't mean to scare her. But that's pretty scary nonetheless. So she took off running back in the other direction. And she was able to uh, uh, prevent another runner from going down that way, another female runner. And she she told her what had happened to her. And then she went, uh, she and the other runner ran back to the trailhead. So uh, you never know what's out there. And just the things that I do to stay safe, I know I don't always run the same time of day, every day. When I'm on the trail, I go diff at different times. The only trail that I worry about really is the one between Rachel and Mannington. That's the one that's in the woods, and I do run it a lot. And um, the trail that this girl was running on is probably uh, concrete or or uh, limestone. It wasn't real woodsy like this. The, the trails in her area are are maintained the ones up here in Mannington to Rachel or not but uh, I carry mace with me sometimes sometimes I forget especially if I'm running after work I don't always have it available that's I leave it at home so I put it in my bag then I have it when I'm at work and I want to run after even running up here in the fairgrounds I keep I keep my eyes open all the time too I run at different times so I I carry mace on the trail most of the time and I'm always being aware of my surroundings I'm always looking around and if I come up on somebody that's that I don't know or that might look suspicious I just kind of get to the other end of the trail and stay as far to the other side if they're on the right side of the trail I'll go to the left side if they're on the left side I'll, I'll go to the right side I give them I give myself distance between them I don't run too closely but uh, I know it's it's kind of uh, little things like that that you know can really keep you safe out there. And you know, uh, my heart goes out to Molly's family and uh, her friends. Now, when I'm running on the trail, I'm always looking around and seeing who's. If I see somebody, I'm always looking ahead of me. If I hear a strange noise, I look behind me. Sometimes I'm walking. 
but uh, so you got to do what you got to do to keep yourself safe or at least make you feel safe don't think that you're going overboard don't let other people think that you're going overboard just do what you think you need to do for you and for your family uh, but anyway that's what I wanted to say about being safe on the trails or just running in general I try not to run while it's dark I don't want to run at night time but I have run I have been on runs after you know it gets like twilight I've had twilight runs before and I've ran early in the morning into daytime but I got about five and a half more miles to go so I better get going well I'm about I'm seven miles in uh, got a hill I'm gonna put in hill behind the right aid that's gonna be that's a tough hill I'm gonna have to walk up some of it or most of it but it's a yes it's hilly hashtag yes it's hilly the Morgantown marathon the Morgantown half marathon the first half is the second half of the Morgantown 13er is just as hilly as the first half because you just loop the second the second half of the marathon is the first half looped around so anyway uh, I'm going to get back to the car and I have almost my full mileage I might have to go on the trail a little bit down and back, but we'll see. Okay, that's it for this week's long run. 10 miles in just under two hours. And now it's time to go home and get some more work done. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you're doing for the weekend. What's going on with you guys? And with everything said, I'll see you in the next one.